Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for around the 7th. So right around the 7th, let's just see what comes up. What do we have for around the 7th? Keep in mind the timing is fluid. The reading that I did yesterday could be playing out tomorrow. So let's just see what happens. Knight of Pentacles reversed, so oh, this is a loss of some sort, or somebody that is inflexible, they're boring, they have no long-term plan, there's no long-term plan, there's no stability, there's insecurity here, somebody that doesn't have the goals, there's no, they're not very goal-oriented, or they don't have anything to offer, or... You know, the king, the knight of pentacles reversed could be somebody that is unfaithful. This person is unfaithful. They may be irresponsible. Um, it could be somebody that is not qualified. High priestess reversed. Now the high priestess reversed is somebody who's not very awakened. Not aware, not in tune. Not in tune with their intuition. Okay? So we got somebody here that isn't listening, or they're, they're just closed off. They're closed off. They're not very awakened. Hmm. There could also be something that is revealed about this person. Okay? Something is being revealed. It was hidden, or it's been kept quiet, but this is like something being revealed about an individual that isn't very stable. So some, some sort of news could be coming out that somebody was keeping it to themselves. They were keeping it quiet. But now they're, you know, whoever this person is, isn't very stable. Let's talk about this Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Ah, Two of Swords. Two of Swords is confused. Blocked. Emotionally blocked. Stress, stressful. We have a stressful decision here. We may have an individual that doesn't know what they want. They're confused or they're ignoring the truth. Now, this is this is hiding something, protecting themselves. They could have double loyalty. They may be loyal to two people. Okay, there's some sort of sort of dual loyalty and needing to make a choice. This person is maybe under there could be somebody here that's unfaithful. Or they're jealous. Now this is mental turmoil, so jealousy could be a factor here as well. Okay? We we could have we could have an individual that doesn't have very many friends. This person is very jealous because they don't have any other friends, you know overly reliant now the high priestess in reverse is an individual that is overly reliant on psychics healers mediums uh, tarot readers somebody doesn't listen to their gut somebody's gut is telling them that something isn't secure it's not stable it's not real somebody's gut is telling them that they're ignoring their intuition there it is so Somebody is ignoring their intuition about an individual that really isn't secure, solid, or stable. This person probably isn't very loyal, um, but that has no long-term plan. Has, uh, hmm, eight of wands. Yeah, messages are going to be coming or information is going to be coming. Definitely something is about to be revealed. Could happen all of a sudden. Somebody could send you a message. Messages. That's messages. Things moving forward. This is moving forward very fast. Somebody may be moving very fast. Maybe they don't want somebody to see. You see the blindfold is on who they really are. And that's why they're moving so fast. Not giving this person a chance to listen to their intuition or their gut. Ooh, it could be dealing with the Queen of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This doesn't have to be, but this is somebody who is solid. 
is stable, is secure. This person is loyal, has a lot to offer, is very valuable. This is a hard worker, could be a business person, uh, somebody that is very nurturing, generous, capable, abundant, fertile, down to earth, sensual. So this person has has money perhaps or has some sort of stability to offer but this one doesn't so we got something is going on here this person doesn't have anything to offer this one does this is ignoring of intuition things moving very fast very very fast why are things moving so fast oh not because somebody's not happy they don't have enough they're not very abundant they're dissatisfied with themselves. <laughs> Ego, perhaps. This person, um, maybe a drinker, too. May have a drinking. Somebody may have a drink, drink a lot, you know. <laughs> Ooh, going for a ride. Taking somebody for a ride. Somebody could be taken for a ride. Consider that a metaphor. Okay, somebody could be taken a to be taken for a ride by an individual that you know portrays themselves to have a lot to offer, but they don't. Okay, they don't. This is uh, being taken for a ride. Definitely, get in. Come on, let's go. Come on, let's go. Somebody's going to receive an invite of some sort, or they've been invited to go for a ride, or, or something, or they're being taken for a ride, whatever, however you want to take it, okay? This person isn't very secure. Mm -hmm. Nine of Wands, you got to protect yourself. You may want to escape while the getting's good. I'm just saying. So... Nine of Wands reverse. This is going to be a challenge. Expecting trouble. And, and you see, but ignoring the intuition with the High Priestess reverse. Somebody is ignoring, but they, they are expecting trouble. Interesting. Getting the hell out. Now, this person's uh, getting out. Getting out. I mean, I'm, I'm running by the looks of things. This person appears to be running away or getting away or... We got the Eight of Wands taking that one. She's got the Ace of Wands in her hands and taking action right now. So somebody's about to take action right now. And this could be another woman or another person that is involved because we do have two people here or two situations. There's there's some there's some sort of double loyalty. Somebody's uh, this individual right here that isn't of genuine character. This person isn't a good character. He's not. Okay. He's not real. He's not uh, doesn't really want responsibility. Doesn't really have much to offer. Um, is not telling everything, keeping keeping a lot inside, hiding who they really are. Um, moving really fast, moving very very fast into something. Maybe it's with a high priestess, or maybe it's with the Queen of Pentacles. I don't know who it is, but it's with somebody. It's like not giving them a chance to listen to their gut or their intuition. But something is about to be revealed that is not going to make probably this person very happy. This is unhappy and not happy. So this is news arriving, but it ain't happy news. And this is. Uh, well, there's the Eight of Wands, okay? Four and four, there's eight. And the one in her hand, she's taking action. She's uh, getting the hell out of there. So somebody's going to be, uh, I don't know. We got two. King of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles reversed. Now, we're definitely dealing with an earth sign here or somebody has a lot of earth in their chart. Somebody that is very focused on money okay this person is looking for stability looking for only cares about financial stability that's the only thing this person is caring about there's no love in these cards so we got an individual that is looking for financial stability they don't want to have to work or they don't they're not putting in much effort or they they don't have uh any skills or something like that now the eight of pentacles reverse not putting in effort next to the king of pentacles who wants to have it all this person is very focused on their money, focused on their security. That's what this focus is about. So we have, we have a, this is, looks to be somebody that wants to be rich or is rich or likes to, um, 
live in comfort, extreme comfort, wants, is looking for something, you know, we get the king and queen of pentacles here, this, this is a, uh, this person is maybe looking for a soulmate, I mean, this is a soulmate connection, they're looking for somebody that aligns with them, you know, somebody that, um, is stable so we do have an individual that is definitely looking for somebody that is stable this person is very grounded very graceful very earthy very down to earth probably doesn't wear shoes very much um but this is not putting in effort so we have a this is the masculine and this is the feminine okay so you guys don't have to you can do whatever say whatever you want but so we have a masculine here that is he's sitting back He's sitting back. He's sitting pretty. Okay, he's sitting pretty. She has a golden opportunity in her hand. And he's looking at her golden opportunity. But this one came out with him. So this masculine appears to not want to work. Maybe he wants her to do all the work. He's magical by the looks of things. She may be magical by the looks of things. Okay. So not putting in a lot of effort, not working, not working. Something may not be working out, not working hard enough. This person isn't working hard enough, wants to be lazy. Hmm, that don't go over too well. I don't know. This is a soulmate connection, typically, when you get, the, you know, these two together. So, hmm. Interesting. Let's get some more. Somebody's wanting to have it all. Something about going for a ride. Somebody may be getting a message about going for a ride. This person doesn't put in effort. Mm, somebody's been watching. This person is very curious. This is the Page of Swords. This could be an enemy disguised as a friend. This is somebody who initiates. They initiate contact. So somebody's going to be initiating contact. But this could be an enemy, you know, an enemy. This person may have been spying. Maybe they were watching. There is going to be some sort of communication that comes in, definitely, about going for a ride. Or, or somebody's about to be taken for a ride. Somebody is very curious. They're very curious. They're very interested. They may have. They may be uh, manipulative. It feels like we got some manipulation here. They're. I feel like we got some sort of pretending going on. Somebody's pretending to be somebody that they are not. That's what it feels like to me. Two more. Ooh, Ace of Pentacles and the Seven of Wands. So this is this is a, some sort of battle, a competition. Warding off the competition. This person seems to be on top. They have uh, some sort of fighting them off. Fighting them off. There's stiff competition here. There is some stiff competition. So somebody is going to be making a solid offer. They think they are anyway. They're going to be giving something. This is a new opportunity for something. This is an opportunity for something stable. So somebody has an opportunity for something stable and they're going to, it feels like they're being pursue, pursued by another individual. Okay, we got the Queen of Pentacles over here who has something and she came out first. Okay, so she, she has a golden opportunity. She has this Ace of Pentacles. That's her in her hand. Okay, that is in her, it's in her hand. Okay, it's in her hand. So she has the money. She has the golden opportunity. She has the stability. She's real. Okay, so she has something of value. She has something of value. This king of pentacles comes out with the eight of pentacles reversed. He's not putting in much effort or he's not putting in enough effort or he's, you know, being lazy. He's obviously watching. Okay, he's watching. And he can, might be able to see that there's some stiff competition. So... What's going to happen? One more card or two. I got a reading to do here in a minute. So, three of cups reversed. This could be parting ways. 
this party is over. There's competitiveness here, extreme competitiveness. There could be a termination. There could be a third party situation with the Three of Cups reverse. Somebody isn't a. Um, Somebody isn't happy. This is not happy. I feel like there is some a third party that is about to pop up. This is a friend that isn't a really a friend or something like that. Or an, a person, somebody is dealing with a person that is dealing with another person and it's about to come out. Be, or it's about something is about to be revealed that's going to tell the truth, okay? With the high priestess reverse, a secret is about to be revealed. Maybe it could be from an individual that is very, very, very jealous. This person is jealous. Maybe they weren't the chosen one. They weren't chosen. They weren't chosen. Maybe this other person was chosen that has money. Okay? So I feel like you should be expecting trouble. Okay? Because there's going to be a message that comes in from a third party. And it doesn't have to be a lover. This is this could be a friend. It could be a family member. It's something. There's going to be a message that comes through from somebody that... Uh, Maybe this person has given up, okay, because that's not putting in effort, not doing anything, giving up. So that could definitely be giving up. What's this King of Pentacles doing? Um, the Tower. Well, son of a gun. Okay, so the Tower, reverse. That is uh, upheaval, extremes, health problems, falling down, a permanent loss, a painful change that you never saw coming. Uh, a fight of some sort, uh, falling down, uh, this is chaos, something could crash, somebody, something is crashing or falling down or something like that, it's horrendous by the looks of things, I'm not trying to scare anybody, but this is, you know, whatever, um, the tower reverse is an extreme upheaval, extreme chaos, you may want to avoid this situation by not putting in effort with this individual that is only looking for money and I know that we've had this conversation a couple times in these cards but there is one individual here that is only interested in money they are not interested they're not emotionally available okay they're not they're blocked they're emotionally blocked this is not about their heart it's not about falling in love it's not about finding that perfect soulmate even though you know these could be soulmates and maybe that's a lesson that somebody needs to learn to open their eyes and see people for who they are soulmates come into our lives to teach us a lesson we have many soulmates in a lifetime so it's a soulmate that will teach us the good lessons and the hard lessons and even some soulmates are very temporary okay that's it that's what it is what it is and this is a life lesson i'm telling you what so there is about to be a fated, a chaotic uh, event that, or a disruption or a fight or uh, an explosion or something that happens. Could be a storm when something, you know, something happens and um, it doesn't have to be a storm though. This is falling down, something falling down. And then there's news with the Eight of Wands twice. Ex I'm telling you what, this is very similar to yesterday's, but a little bit different. Expect some something to happen that is troublesome. I'm sorry, I'm not going to pretty it up and say, oh, you know, your life is great. And the best man in the whole, or woman in the whole world is going to be knocking on your door tomorrow. And he loves you and he thinks about you nonstop. That is not my readings. This Queen of Pentacles, she may be getting some money, being handed some sort, something. She obviously has a golden opportunity in her hand. She does. This is potential. It's potential for something long-term, something solid, something stable. But there's somebody here that is expecting trouble. They are expecting trouble. There could be a third party that is popping up, you know, popping up out of nowhere to, you know, offer this queen something stable. This person may have money. I don't know. This one sure as hell doesn't. And I'm not, I don't care about money, but whatever. Um, oh, God. The moon is on the bottom. So proceed with caution. There's an unclear and difficult path ahead. 
you're going to need to follow your gut. There's going to be some unseen problems. Somebody is dealing with a liar and you need to look deeper. This person is wearing a disguise. Open your eyes. Look deeper. Good luck.